Hello, everybody. It is I, the Willowiggy Big Mac, and welcome to Why Aware Incorporated. <laughs> so, this is our brand new Let's Play, and this is going to be a very short Let's Play because, uh, let's face it, WarioWare is a very, very short game. But, yeah, figure might, might as well do, might as well do, uh, Wario. Uh, actually, you want to uh, put it in a, uh, a regular name? I, I think, is this the Arpa? Yep, this is the Arpa. Trust, yeah, let's just, let's trust Wario for a name. Pixie. Alright, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Diamond City. 2000 X. WarioWare Incorporated. So yeah, uh, as you guys may see, I'm playing this off of the, uh, the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack because uh, honestly, fifty dollars a year uh, to get Game Boy Advance and Tesla Core and Genesis games on the go is definitely pretty cool. Because let's just say if I'm going on like a long road trip, I have all these games at my disposal. Wario got himself trapped in a, uh, in his, uh, stereo. Good job, Wario. So, if you never, so, if you never seen what WarioWare is, essentially, uh, you give me these quick micro games, and you have to think fast to complete them. Uh, you have four lives, uh, in total. Oh, I, I could rewind if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. And when I mean rewind, uh, because I'm using this, because I'm using the, uh, the switch, I can just, if I ever so wanted to, rewind over there. But, again, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, so, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's, I mean, don't, don't need all four lives. Now, now, I was always gonna be doing this game as a let play. However, I was originally gonna do it on my Wii U. They do actually have this game on my Wii U. That was a close one. Uh, and Nintendo. Oh, this, this, one, this one's a funny one. It's just Wario grunting as, uh, as the music. Uh, a oh, false stage. So, each, so every level has a false stage. Uh, Uh, let me just focus on this real quick because it is very easy to lose this one. Oh, no. oh, for a minute there I thought I missed. Oh, All yeah. right, what was I saying? Uh, <laughs> shoot, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll come back to me. Uh, so that one that segment I lost on the crazy cars, uh, a potato could have shown up instead. Long vertically. I, like, if the potato, if the potato showed up, I probably would have been able to uh, get past it perfectly fine. Probably. Hey, you did it, next to Jimmy. Uh, that's, that's my best warrior voice right now. I can probably do a bit better. Uh, now here's our now here's our main menu. Uh. Now our main menu works like a computer, which honestly, I gotta dig. Uh, so obviously, well, and here's the thing, that wasn't Wario, this is the introduction, int intro games. Huh? You actually beat me? Well, well, Pixie, I forgot we were the Pixie. I, I guess I misjudged you. Don't get, don't get too cocky. This part is just the intro. Just a warm up. Basic games are fun, but they're only the beginning. Yep. Uh, before, we, before we move on, uh, the grid. This is where you play all the micro games. As you may see, I'm missing a few. Uh, I'm not gonna go for all the micro games because. Uh, I'm not gonna go for all the micro games because because that'll be a bunch of pointless grinding. Like I'm just going to try and beat the game. Uh, I will, however, 
play through every single side mode that gets unlocked. Except for the ones that require the second player. Uh, but yeah, so the grid is where you can play all the micro keys you unlock. Options, well, we can view epilogues. So you can, you can view uh, the intro and all that. You can change your name, or you can clear your data. Uh, that's it. That being said, let's uh, go on about Jimmy. So Jimmy's genre is sports. It's Jimmy, baby. I, I'm sporting big air and a big sport. Leave, leave me 15 cell messages to clear the stage. Hey, hey, Pixie Man. Get your, get your sport on. Get over 20 and get the hookup. So here we go. Well, let's... So, Jimmy... So, Jimmy T. He's a, he's a funny character. And I really do like the voice they gave him in gold and, uh... And by, uh, by extension, uh, getting together. But I do miss his old voice, but... Yeah, Jimmy is such a... He's a, he's a really... He's a really cool dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, one thing I should probably also mention, uh, Jimmy's theme in majority of the Warrior games has also always been sports. The only time I believe he never really did sports was, I think, oh, Touch, yeah. and that was because he, he and his family were considered the, uh, yeah, uh, if he, if he pays attention to the music right there, uh, it was actually playing, uh, hey, come on. Palm Tree, Palm Tree Paradise from Warrior, from Warrior Land 4. Uh, hey, one thing you should mention, this game reuses a lot of assets from Warrior Land 4. Because, it, because it was made by the same devs. And wonder what these devs also made? Uh, Rhythm Heaven. The series oh, in general. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I did not get that one. Uh, yeah. See, with the, hey, hey, like, like the series. Oh, yeah. This is going so fast. I'm, I'm starting to lose my train of thought. Hey, oh, yeah. Yeah, now, luckily, I'm getting hey, multiple hey, oh, because yeah. I played through this game a bunch of times, so I know what to expect. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, now, one thing I hope that the... Uh, now, there's two things I hope the Nintendo Switch Online adds. Uh, well, for starters, uh, Warrior Land 4, that's awesome. Oh, and, and also, if they're adding Kirby oh, Tilt and Tumble to the Game, to the game Boy, uh, to the Game Boy Collection, they have to add WarioWare Twisted. Because, if I could just play WarioWare Twisted on the TV, that would be cool as hell. Also, uh, punch out everyone. This ain't no Mr. Sandman. So, I'm gonna be the first one fine. <laughs> but yeah. Now, in terms of the series, I'm not going to do the entire series. Like, I'm not, like, touched is going to be hard as hell to do. I mean, I guess I could buy off the Wii U, but... I mean, do I really feel like pulling out my piece of shit Wii U, going on the eShop that's about to close, just to, just to buy a DS game? Let that sink, let that sink in. And I don't, and I don't know how DS games work on the, on the Wii U anyway. Like, can I only get the one screen, or can I? I don't know. It's hard to say. Well, yeah, hurry up. let's diverge off of, uh, off Jimmy into the first side thing we got. Uh, the first side game we got to play. Jump forever. Got the fever for some jump rope. Excellent. Now get out there and jump. Uh, I can move left and right and aim jump. So this is literally the jump from the game. And in this game, uh, it also reuses uh, the 
It reuses the pinball zone music from uh, Warrior Land 4. Also, you said you could. Oh, man, you could also move. I never knew that about this game growing up. Let's see how far. Let's see how high it gets. I also like how the uh, people uh, holding the jump rope are counting how many times you're jumping. Cause like here's the thing. Oh, faster. And here's the other thing. When you're replaying uh, the stage you've already beaten, like obviously it gets faster. Uh, when you beat, oh. and Warrior's dead. Good job. Warrior tripped over a fucking jump rope and died. Had a heart attack even. Uh, okay, well that's uh, that's jump forever. Uh, we got three brand new people we can do. We have Dribble. Where you going? General sci-fi. Well, Dribble and Spitz. Hey, uh, hey, uh, I'm Dribble. This is my pal Spitz. To drive 25 miles in, in the cab and we'll, we'll get you home. Science fiction is not our, not our thing, but we made some fine sci-fi games for you, Pixie. Uh, we got Mona. Uh, probably one up there is one of my favorite characters. That's uh, her genre street. Hey, I'm Mona. And I'm super busy. I'm late again. So I've got to ditch 15 cops to save, <laughs> save time. I forgot she yet. Uh, beats up cops. Uh, normal games are boring, but not... Uh, hold on, let me, let me cycle through a second and actually read that again. Uh, blah blah blah, Mona, I guess, so, it's 50 cops. Those other games are boring, but not mine. They're strange, but perfect for a guy like you, Pixie. And then, Ninefold, another one of my favorite characters. Who's Judder is the dead, though? I'm Nine, I'm Nine Volt, the old school grade schooler. I got a mad mix of tunes and classic Nintendo bits for you. I'll spin the tunes. You clear 15 of my games. Bixie, these bits of history are the best. Uh, I think it's I think it's safe to say we leave Nine Volt for last because easily the Nintendo. My favorite micro games in these Warrior games are always the Nintendo ones because this is one of the few times. Nintendo will actually show how much they, like, their appreciation of the history that they made. Like, you don't, like, you don't think Nintendo, uh, acknowledges the fucking Virtual Boy? Because it's a catastrophic fa failure? Well, look at WarioWare. They acknowledge that, they acknowledge that piece, that piece of junk. That voice. It was like to see. 10 4. Also, sorry if I'm a bit stuffy uh, this episode. I got. I just got over getting, getting sick with a very nasty stomach bug that lingered for days. Oh, I forgot about this. Also, I don't know why this is here. Uh, during this, uh, during Dribble Spits, uh, game, you get to listen to Drifting Away, which is a really good song. Uh, despite the fact, despite, despite it being compressed as hell. I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's a uncompressed version on YouTube. I don't know, I don't know why I borrow some of the, uh, beginner, uh, uh, some of you guys might recognize this one from Smash. Hey, come on. Uh, from the Warrior Incorporated stage. Okay. And I believe we have the last one from my mile. Also, uh, gee, I wonder who these two are. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Come on. Hey, Toho, but. Up, up, up. Oops, that, I think that's one that we did not play, actually. Hey, hey. Uh, let's... Oh, yeah, there's this one. Uh, the trick to this one is just not moved. Hey, come on. And that's another one of the beginner games, so... Oh, this, this one. Oh, how did I... That was a nice one. Come on, come on. There we go. 
Sometimes these symbols look really shit. There we go. Right at the end. And Mars! Fuck you, Mars! Funny thing is that for that minigame, it, it is possible to get uh, get the hot two kids input uh, as one of the possible combinations. Up oh, and we're at the boss. Uh, now this is a shoot 'em up. Now, in terms of compared to most shooting bumps, these ones, this one is this one isn't too bad. There we go. Now, luckily, bosses don't have time limits until they actually do. And then here's and here's the actual boss part of the boss fight. So you have to shoot these old the little uh, circle while avoiding the red circle. I guess the red circle. I guess he. Huh. Normally. Normally. Huh. Normally, it would actually try to attack you rather than just kind of camp in his force field, but. You know what? Whatever. I've. Stranger things has happened on these let's plays. Uh, speaking of strange. Not, not because Mona's up next, but, uh. Speaking of strange. Pixie was actually a mermaid the whole time. Or. Technically, Merman, because, uh, Pixie's a doer. <laughs> Triple Spitz, uh, shock look right there. Heh, <laughs> before. We forgot to collect the fair. That's another reoccurring theme. They normally forget to catch. Uh, they normally forget the uh, get payment for their uh, stuff. Hey, come on. Whoa, hey, Pixie, all clear. We misjudged you, pal. Anyway. Uh, we get another thing unlocked. However, if memory serves me correctly, I believe this is a multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, Shitore! Two player insanity. Spin the groovy vacuum and pick up the trash. Shitore released in Japan by Nintendo in 1979. Use, use remote control for gameplay. Now, advanced red or advanced blue. Actually, hold on. I, hold on. Who needs friends? I can play by myself. So the way this game works is that, is that essentially is that uh, you have to collect the uh, trash and uh, one person controls the left side which is well uh, one person controls the red side which is left one person controls the blue side which is right. And I think it's is it first and ten or something? 
Well, let's see. You know, let's just see what happens if uh, Red gets up to ten. Uh, no, it's just keep going. Uh, we're just. I'm just gonna exit out for the sake of just continuing on. Uh, next up, we have Mona. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one thing I would like to mention. Uh, the fact that Wario is friends with Ninefold, who is an elementary school student, and Mona, who technically is in high school? I don't know if she ever graduated out of high school past Smooth Moves. The, the, fact, the fact that he's friends with literal children is concerning. But then again, I... But then again, I ain't gonna question it. Because this is Nintendo, after all. They do- they make wacky characters. And last I remember, I, I don't remember seeing any controversy about WarioWare. This, like, this, cause this is literally a whole side of the Mario universe you just never see. Like... She's late because a bunch of kids had to cross the street. And pandas for some reason. Hey, remember how we mentioned cops earlier? Uh, and Mo luckily Moda has some... Has some, uh... Crypto, I first believe. And one of her little pets. Pet monkey, elephant, and pig, I believe. There's, there's the pig. <laughs> and I love, I love that scene just for the absurd amount of police cars. And there's the, the monk, the monkey. This is the most famous, famous micro game in, in WarioWare. Right on. But yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, there's nothing else to say about this. It's literally just WarioWare. Uh, oh, I thought I thought I thought I thought I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, oh yeah, this one's also uh, a. I, honestly, now thinking about it, a lot of Mona's micro games are really recognizable if you're familiar with the series. Because like, because the devs of the Warrior games and in terms of rhythm heaven, love to reference their old, the old work. Uh, or at least when it comes to Warrior. So like, and like in other Warrior games, you'll see stuff from the, from the first Warrior. Wear. Oh, this is another one from, uh, from Smash Bros. Uh, normally... Aww. I'll, you know, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be honest with that one. That one is a very easy one to lose. A very easy one to lose. And this one is a, uh... You have to hammer a nail, but you can very easily lose by either... If you if you if you accidentally bend the side of the nail too too much, you said it you pretty much cannot nail that fully nail it in. I also like I also like how the pets are chance are uh, chanting for Mona to uh, make it in on time. Also, also. Also, it's not- okay, now be- I'll be honest, there's nothing wrong with being, like, a minute late. I mean, like, if you're ten minutes late, then, yeah, 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 that's- that's when- that's when you should actually get punished or something, but- One minute? Seriously? If you're getting scolded over being one minute late, then, uh, well, well, management is a total piece of shit.
Get out of here. Wow, pixie guy. He did it. I'm honestly, I'm honestly glad they went back to Mo... Well, mostly went back to Mona's old look, uh... In Boy Work Gold. And, uh... What do you call it? Uh, get it together. Uh, here's, here's the next, uh, thing we got. Chicken race. Another two-player game. Two-player wackiness. This chicken ain't funky. It's the, it's the classic game of chicken. Get yourself as close to the edge as possible. And, uh... Eleanor to cock the foot of the, uh, of the upper course and lower course. Alright, let's just show this off real quick. Yep, so this is basically the whole game. Yep, so next round. I do like that scream as well. That is really good. Uh, actually, you know, next one should. Is it, is it the straight one again? Holy shit, it is the straight one. Okay, you know what? Let's just send, uh. Oh, it is the straight one, but it has some rocks. Oh! Okay, that's it. Also, appro appropriate sprite for. Uh, for that, for what just happened there. Uh, let's see. We have time for one more. Nine volt. Ugh, gotta be crap for knuckles. <clears throat> you know, there's quite a few characters that aren't in the WarioWare series at this point yet. Uh, now, there's one fan favorite that you won't be seeing this game. That's Wait, Ashley. What? You know, uh, who's the girl next door living in the haunted mansion? I better learn her name because, because it's Ashley. Uh, yeah. Ashley Hello? doesn't appear until Warrior Hello? Touched. Hello? Hello? Also, Nightfall is really fucking good at DJ. Uh, yeah, so you won't see Ashley or Red in this game. Uh, Pe Penny. Dr. Quackle's, uh... Is it daughter, I think? Or is it granddaughter? I I can never remember what the relation of that part of the family up uh, there's uh, F-Zero. I think we should just focus on the, uh... I should focus on the games. Also, the physics for the Mario 1 is accurate. Uh, Bloom Fight. Or Bloom Fighter. Whatever, whatever the game's called. Uh, Dr. Mario. Okay. Uh, Donkey Kong. Okay. Also, you can still jump the barrel, uh, even, even when it's, uh, uh, disappeared. Uh, Legend of Zelda, obviously. Uh, this is the Flies Water mini game from Mario Paint. Uh, I forget what this one is. It is a very obscure pick from Nintendo's, uh, back of games, uh... This is technically Stack Up from, uh... From all the games Stack Up. Uh, this is... Uh, Nintendo even included their old toys that they, uh... Used to manufacture, manufacture before they made video games. While Gunman... Uh, Mario Clash! Remember I mentioned that that Nintendo never acknowledges the, uh, the, uh, Virtual Boy? Yeah, yeah, they acknowledge it right there. Also, in that Metroid one, you can actually, uh, go into the, uh, the Morph Ball. Anyway, and this is another one of their, uh, toys that they made. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, Baseball is very popular in Japan. It's like, because they're, they're natural sport alongside, uh, Super Wrestling. If I remember correctly. 
So yeah, so Japan loves their baseball. So Nintendo made a toy that's an automatic pitch. And just like that, uh, we got done with uh, we got done with uh, nine volt. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of nine volt, eighteen volt. Uh, Nightfall's best friend doesn't appear until the very next game, uh, while you were twisted. Uh, Young Cricket and Master Mantis weren't even characters until Punch, I believe. Oh, well, I think that was smooth, I don't remember. Uh, Penny wasn't in the game in the series, in the series until Smooth Moves. Back to Robot wasn't until touched. That's all I can remember. Uh, I'm sure I'm missing a few characters hey, I didn't mention. Yeah, yeah. But hey, Game Boy. Or, uh, Nightfall has the Game Boy SP now. Wow, Pixie, you rock. I admit defeat. You win. And just like that, we uh, unlock the next. Well, that, it's not really another character, Kuz. We're doing Jimmy again, Hello? this time with yellow hair. Uh, but, but we're just going to end off the episode instead because we are out of time. If you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, please consider subscribing because I would really appreciate it. Uh, it'll help my channel grow and it'll help YouTube push, the, uh, push my videos on the YouTube algorithm, which, as you may know, is, kind of, is very bad. Very, very bad. Uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to be dealing with Jimmy, uh, Jimmy with yellow hair and then moving on with the next few characters and quite possibly beat the game because, like I said, this game is very, very, very short. Uh, so with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, have a good, have a good morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you in at the next one. Bye-bye.